Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be just a quick preview to our Philadelphia Flyers taking on Shane Gosh to spare 0 8 and 1 Arizona Coyotes, led by Karel Vilgemalka, who actually does have good stats in net. You just want to know if you look at that simple win loss record because he's basically on the Pittsburgh Pirates of hockey. He's 0 and 5, but he has a 920 save and a 263 goals again. So the young Vegmelka at 25 who came from overseas and was of course drafted back in 2015 actually by the Nashville Predators, you're going to have to get good shots on on him. He's not one of those young goalies coming over from the Czech Republic, excuse me, that you can just throw willy-nilly shots on and hope they get in. He's actually been Honestly, probably, if you want to call it, their best player to start the season, Karel Vegmelko, who's made their team at least be in some games while having this abysmal 0-8-1 record. Obviously, our Flyers, you have to come out, you have to establish yourself early, you have to have a good game. This is a game you kind of hope to see. Now the Kraken are finding their more competitive balance, and being, even yesterday, they lost 5-2, to two, but they looked competitive on the ice against that Edmonton Oilers team. They've been finding that more since we played them, but this is a game on paper you're probably coming into going, we expect this to be similar to the Kraken game. You should be able to establish pressure on the Arizona Coyotes and just kind of keep it going throughout the game because that's where this team is at. They're in a full rebuild mode. Obviously, they have a couple veterans you still have to watch, particularly when we're playing them since he's had a hell of a career whenever the Flyers play him, and in general, is Phil Kessel. But on t- in terms of this team, you got to watch Kessel. You got to watch Clayton Keller. Lawson Krause is obviously going to try to establish himself in front of the net. But beyond that, there's not much scoring threats when it comes to this Arizona Coyotes team. Ghost is actually their points leader um, right now with five points in nine games. Where then it is Krause with four, Keller with four, and Phil Kessel all with four. So that kind of just goes to show how dormant their offense has been, and the Flyers obviously don't want to wake them up. Now, in this game, it is projected um, for the lines that it is going to be Lawson Krause, Barrett Hayden, and Clayton Keller, with Dimitri Jask and Johan Larson and Phil Kessel on the second line for Arizona, Christian Fisher, Anton Russell, and the veteran Louis Erickson on the third, and then this has the third with Liam O'Brien. But I guess they switched it um, from the cat-friendly one. And then it has Liam O'Brien, Jay Beagle, and Andrew Ladd. So one of those two, it's either going to be for the third line, O'Brien, Beagle, Ladd, or Russell, Fisher, and then Erickson on the fourth, or how I just said it prior in there. But either way, you still, the Flyers should be able to establish themselves or put pressure on this team. They're coming off of a good Canadian road trip. They didn't look as sharp in Calgary. But obviously, the other two taking two for one in Canada, that is plenty good enough for me. And they're trying to carry that momentum into playing these downtrodden Arizona Coyotes, where, of course, our Flyers have been primarily led by the great play of the top two, which Cam Atkinson, the great Jamie Baskell, pointed out. I'm going to link Flyers Nitty Gritty. Subscribe to them for great Flyers covered people covering in the press box tonight. So subscribe over there and follow them for some great covers of the Flyers as well. I linked that at the end here. But Daruk, Couturier, and Konechny, eight points for Claude, nine for Couturier, and six for TK. They're doing their job. We have the lethal line that has a nine plus minus, a seven plus minus, and a nine of Fairby, Broussard, and Atkinson, who... Both Fairby and Brassard have six points, and then Cam has them beat by one with seven. And then the Lindblom, Lawden, and Van Riemsdyk line, that's been a line that when you look at them on the ice, if you just look at the plain stats, that's one of those lines where you would say the stats are deceiving because that line's actually looked good and got good forechecking pressure, has good ability, created some chances. They just haven't really got everything to capitalize for them yet, where now JVR, of course, does have the three points in the season. So it seems like stuff is turning in the right direction, and that's going to continue happening for that line. So I think that's something I'm excited to see. And then you, of course, also have Kubel, Thompson, and McEwen. And then, of course, they put Patrick Brown in there when they want to throw him into, and he's played a solid game. And then you're going to have Carter Hart going tonight, and you have Provorov, Braun on the first line, Sanheim, Ristolainen, Yandel, and Sealer. 
since Ryan Ellis with that weird thing that went day to day to week to week. Hopefully he's able to come back soon and be that staple on our defense. But the Flyers have shown that Chuck Fletcher, even though we're close to the cap, <clears throat> he smartly was able to with the waiver claim of McEwen and Brown too, bringing guys that really help and also bring in those depth guys just like Sealer, who's probably playing more than you expected him to play early on, obviously, but is able to fill in and do things well. And then you have a more offensive pushing defenseman in Glendening if you need somebody like that to come up later in the year for another injury for more of a defenseman of that nature that you want in the lineup compared to a body check or defensive guy or like Sealer. But I think the Flyers should be able to obviously win this game and establish themselves. This is a game I'm looking for them to play a good full 60 minutes because you're playing the Arizona Coyotes that are, let's not show good, they're in a full rebuild. That's why they're 0 8 and 1. They're trying to get the best picks they can possibly get. And that is their main objective. They have their own pick. They have the Canadians, which is looking pretty um, right now, but that has a couple clauses in it. And then they have the um, Avalanche, and they also have our second round pick along with a million others. So this Coyotes team, if you just look at the draft capital they have, plus the play on the ice and the record, are clearly full rebuilding. So there's no excuse for the Flyers to lose this game. they got to come out and supply pressure and just keep coming at them the entire game. This has been a preview to the Arizona Coyotes and the Philadelphia Flyers. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe. Let's go, Flyers.